Hey YouTube, welcome, welcome back, welcome back to Journey YouTube channel. Please hi. Hi, I agree. No me hace hi for. Hi, hi guys. Anyways, today is a free farm grid update. So this has been 25 months. 25 months, you know. 25 month period. This is the end of the 25 months. I've grown my hair from scalp level. So we try to start from scalp and then we just leave it and this is how it come out. This is proof that it grew from scalp because these were the first ones that were formed, you know. When you grow hair from scalp, when you free farm from scalp, it's gonna start with these and then it join up and turn on bigger ones. And over time it's gonna do the same thing because over time the hair gonna join up with everything. Everybody here is gonna join up and become one full lock, you know, a big congo over time. You know? So that is that. So I do a full 360 as I say 25 months. This is the 25 months update from a free farm dread update, you know, 25 months. Yeah, remember all the changes are going guys. Um what if a new growth as you can see. You know, put about them here. What if a new growth in the front and sides? A new dread, the one here come good. What if a new dread in the top? What if a new growth? See what you can see. Only for new growth guys, new growth yes so I do a full 360 now Free farm build up yet. As I always tell you guys, you know, dreadlocks, the ear naturally coil and kink to build a stronger electromagnetic field. That's why the, that's why the human body produces dreadlocks. If you check the animal kingdom and the human body alone do this. And some other animals where I think them, some other dogs and some other, other but the human beings do. Are the only animal where the ear not up and turn dreadlocks like this and grow this long. You get to me, I say? It's that specific purpose to connect you to the cosmos. You see? To connect you to your higher self, to connect you to your spiritual side. Because we all have a spiritual side, you know, and the connection to the spiritual side is through the crown chakra. The strongest connection you can ever have to yourself is through the crown chakra. You literally can stop and hear yourself talk to you. Literally can, you know, it develop a type of psychic power there. The ear, the ear, the being talking, you can listen to it literally. It's like maybe this is what the prophet is to talk about when he talk about a connection to God, you know. It's literally, you hear in the voice, you know, it's your voice, you know, but it, it's your higher self. You get to me, I think I still you as I always tell you this physically is just a reflection and spiritual. So, your voice and frequency, your voice is the frequency of your being, you know, the frequency. You always reflect the frequency of yourself, the lower self reflects the higher self, you know. So above, so below. And as I tell you, just I see enough people start jumping on the wave now, for the dreadlock wave. And then been, them been realized it. Whatever reason you grow dreadlocks for, it probably just be for fashion. But after you go in the fashion, you realize the shit. You actually, your, mind, your state of mind change. You know, you start thinking more positive, you start being more peaceful, you know. Start being more in, in balance, in your mental. You get to me, I say so. Whatever reason you're great for, good luck is just a good thing, man. It, it, it bring you up on a different level of life, change your perspective completely, for how you look at things, make you way more peaceful. And that's all we want, walk away happy and peaceful, right? That's a, that's a me want, and whoever resonates with that, you know, I guess we are the same being because I'm based for resonance. Some people just want war, and that's good for them, I just saw them live, they just want war. And you can't, you know, you have to just know yourself in this life. It's either you want peace or you want war. And <laughs> that's why it's so important to find out that you know, know yourself, realize who you are. You know, you're a good person or you're a bad person, you know. Two of them good because negative and, uh, and positive is not the universe, that's all there is. Negative and positive is not all of it. We have the potential to be good and we have the potential to be evil. But there is a time, you know, the most. You know, when you can be in the most neutral state, or the best state that you be in, you know, neutral. 
just be neutral, just be balanced. Because you just be balanced, you know? Balance, that is the key in life. Find perfect balance and live in a harmony with your yourself. And the universe, everything, everything flows, man. Everything works naturally. You, you literally can't do nothing, you know? You literally governed by the elements. By the sun, the moon, the stars, and them something yeah, that govern the astrological charts, the astrological elements. You get to me and say, you literally can't do nothing. If you even think you make a decision to watch the video, you didn't make the decision to watch this video. <laughs> you know, your subconscious make decision them for you, and then you realize, and then you're going to do it. You really and truly can't do nothing. You can't think nothing. <laughs> you know, big up the journey YouTube channel once more. One love. Continue to follow, man. Everything. Everything good man, everything will continue to be good and everything will be greater, you know? Everything will be good man, everything good. Don't worry about nothing at this time. A whole heap of things are going to happen, a whole heap of things have been happening. Floods. The apocalypse is here, people, you know? It is here, and we know it's a free farm build up here, but we need to say it still. The apocalypse is here. You see the floods, then? You see the hailstones that are falling in Canada? You see the things that are happening? You hear about the earthquakes? You hear about the deaths, you hear about, you hear about the radiation with smaller um, animals dying. It is here, the sun is getting hotter. The sun is ejecting um, um, the coronal layer of the sun, the outer layer, which is the coronal layer, which is where they get the word corona from. That layer of the sun has been very active. The sun itself has been very active for the past few years. And for the past month, like for the past month, <laughs> not to mention like the past week, like the past week, the sun has been fucking emitting massive amounts of fucking, you know, ejection, just ejecting layers of itself towards Earth. It's sending massive heat waves towards Earth. And if you research coronal mass ejection, they tell you what those things are. A coronal mass ejection can wipe out the whole Earth, it would, um, as in the technology, everything. A whole blackout will come, you know? The sun already are doing it. The small blackouts are going to some countries, they don't have power for some days, they don't have um, internet for certain amount of days. It is going to come, the sun is going to do it one day when everything does all go block everything around the whole world. The tides are rising, tsunamis, you know? The earth are purged herself, you know? The elements, the whole universe are purged itself. So we've, been in, we've been out of balance for a very long time, you know? I know the time for balance, so I will purge, death and rebirth. In order for rebirth come, death have to come. And this is the death, we you know the death fields. We have to rebirth, have to rebuild. So don't fear people. This is the time of renewal, the time of rebirth. I talk for a specific reason. I talk for a wise reason. So if you watch the video you now, just trust in Ifaxi, you're safe. Trust in Ifaxi, you're protected, the earth protect we. The earth protect our inhabitants, the earth protect those who are connected to her. The strongest, the earth protect with, the earth guide with, the earth feed with, you know, the earth is the mother, the earth protect with, you know, believe that once you're connected to her, you know, once you're connected, we're connected to her through melanin, we're connected to her through dreadlocks, we're connected to her through feet, as I tell you about grounding, ground yourself, people, ground yourself, get outside in the nature, take off the shoes, you know, rubber, the rubber, black out electricity, the rubber is a fucking, um, Repellent of electricity. No, no, no fucking electricity can pass through rubber. Or little to no electricity. You get what I say? The rubber block out the electricity. You know? If you want, you want to conduct more electricity. So if you want to conduct more electricity, you take off your fucking shoes. And you plant your feet barefoot on the ground. Just, just, just put your foot on the grass. Walk on the grass. Or walk on the bare ground or whatever. Grounding. Get more electricity. Charge up yourself. That's how we recharge. That's how we get the energy right, you know? Charge up yourself. Same like a phone, we are energy beings. If the phone dead, you need to charge it up. Same way. You plant the feet in the ground, that's where you recharge. Get yourself out in the nature. Some river, some beaches, you know. Big up, one of the journey YouTube channel once more. Peace out.